Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and I know this will make a difference in many lives. Really good questions. Someone wants to know about a product called Iodine Science from Dr. Andrew Weil and he suggested it. I don't really know anything about Iodine Science but I do know that people need iodine. I take 12 milligrams of iodine every day. Before you would take iodine, you would consider having a TSH, a T3, and a T4. If your T4 level's on the lower end of normal, the midline, you for sure could use some iodine. There's questions about if you have an elevated TPO or Hashimoto's, if you should or you should not. Probably the most scientific way to see if you need iodine is due to the urine iodine loading test. That will make all the difference in the world. Someone just had a question about they had diabetes. They have really smelly feet, which is always kind of interesting because most people don't say that to me. Low back pain on the left side and wanted to know what kind of cleansing they should do. And the two big toes change colors. Well, the whole boomerang and the whole thing, the trump card is diabetes. Um, you definitely have to work on that blood sugar stress. You want to eliminate, I'm telling you right now, all fruit, all sugar, all grains. You want to be moving. You want to eat vegetables. You want to find a health care provider that can help coach you through this because you want to manage that blood sugar. Get your body moving because movement will help burn that extra glucose. Dr. Bob, my daughter is 16. She has leg pain from her butt down, usually worse during her, men worse during her menstrual cycle. So this is what I have found. A lot of times today, this is so interesting, so pay attention. We see so many young ladies that have fatty livers. That means their livers are going way down into their abdomen. So if you have a fatty liver, there's not a lot of room for your uterus. And if your uterus is compromised or congested, it's going to put pressure on those nerve roots going down the legs. So this is really the first time I talked about the fatty liver syndrome. It's a very common problem today that we are seeing, especially in young females between 15 and 25 years old, I would suggest a digital x-ray, a front view of the pelvis region with a digital x-ray to check out the size of the liver. Dr. Bob, could you say something about bisphenol, bisphenol drugs? Well, it's BPA is bisphenol A, and I talk about this in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Detoxification. It's a resin, and they put it in a lot of items today, especially canned food. If you see an item that says BPA free, that's good. Glassware, of course, will not have BPA in it, but it does, it's like a, a estrogen mimicker. It can create an estrogen challenge in an individual. Just do a search on it with products with BPA, and it's what I would suggest you do, and avoid them like the plague. Now, if someone wants to know about um, the drugs that people take for osteoporosis. And one of them, for example, would be Fosamax. Now, there are blood cells in your body or bone cells in your body called osteoclasts. Osteoclasts are like little Pac-Man and vacuum cleaners that take away the old, dead, and decaying um, bone. So what the Fosamax does is inhibit its, those bone cells. That's why we don't promote any type of medication for osteoporosis. And actually, as a side note, Synthroid can cause osteoporosis in menopausal women. Stay away from sugar, stay away from phosphoric acid, and stress will definitely cause osteoporosis. Um, Celtic sea salt bouncing a ball, definitely a good way to help improve that narrowing bone. Dr. Bob, I am a man, I'm in my 20s, and I started noticing the cherry heat mangiomas. The bottom line for that is your liver is compromised, it's plugged up. You need some B vitamins. You want to help improve that liver. Dr. Bob's ABCs, a half a red apple every day, a third cup of beet fiber, and a medium carrot. Maybe some kind of liver, or liver herb. We use a product called Livetrit. Try some milk, thistle, drink water. Dr. Bob's ABCs, stay away from alcohol. Last question, Dr. Bob, are there supplements that I can get rid of my ear ringing or tinnitus? Well, I want you to know that tinnitus oftentimes could be subpar thyroid function. I also use a product in our practice called AE Emulsion. It's a vitamin A. I would suggest first have your thyroid checked. Second, a lot of times we'll see a mineral deficiency will challenge it. Sometimes you could have misalignment in your spine and also dairy because it's all fluid. Anything that causes inflammation. So to slow that down a little bit, we use a product called AE Emulsion. Have your thyroid checked. Tremendous questions. You're going to want to pass this on. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, 
the drugless doctor.